What a night. Yeah, we were so scared. It's all because of Martin. If he hadn't brought it here, it wouldn't have fallen and everything would be fine. Actually, it's not Martin's fault. But Miss Cooper's. If she allowed him to have a kitten, then nothing would have happened. <laughs> Maybe it was her who knocked that thing over on purpose to show she was right. That's awful. I've been trying to find this sensor all the time, but I failed. I can't just chill next to the fridge. You don't even have to try. I hit it very well. So well that Tyler's been trying to solve this puzzle all day. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, stop it. I got you. I won't take your yogurts anymore. Tyler, that's not how it works. Okay, let's go. And you, Tyler, eat less. You're not my girlfriend. Don't tell me what to do. Hey, it's okay. Breathe in, breathe out. Let's go and make you a relaxing Clementine mask. Are we going to squeeze the slime out of him? Isn't he as mean as Tyler? No, Clementine is all kindness. I'm gonna say something, but you want all that I see. You got dynamite, that smell's gonna be the end of me. I bet it tastes like chocolate. Can I have it for free? I'm an explosion, and that smell's gonna be the end of me. That smell, that smell, that smell, that smell's gonna be the end of me. Did you sleep here? Although, if you were sleeping here all the time, how did I not notice you? Max and I played Counter-Strike all night. He's gone to our sister's game. Uh, and I can't refocus. I've got insomnia. You know, I think you should sleep. Wow, you've just opened my eyes to the world. I didn't mean to eavesdrop on you. But, insomnia is a sleep disorder characterized by dissatisfaction with sleep quality, inability to fall asleep, or a combination of these factors over time can obviously lead to a lot of different- So what? You've only made me more stressed. This needs to be treated. I can help you with this. Help, and bounce out of here. And you should talk less out loud. What'd you say? You learned IQ of our campus. You're a damn geek. My snails, I'll feed you soon. Emma, sometimes I think you spend more time with them than with Martin. But they can listen to Emma for hours and say nothing. Snails are very intelligent and sensitive creatures, so please don't offend them. And with Martin, we're doing great. We spend enough time together. We talk, spend the whole day together, and also... And it's very, very boring. And what do you think is fun? Party! Romantic dates? Oh, we had one. Yeah, and Leo ruined it all because of science. But you, you don't know anything about Martin and me. Everything is great with us. Wow, take it easy. You'll make an earthquake for your snails. Look, we're having some kind of test today, so I suggest we go so Mrs. Cooper doesn't scream again. Let's go. Let's go. Emma, are you coming? Guys, do you think everything is fine with me and Martin in our relationship, or is everything really boring? Write in the comments. I'm coming! What's that? Have you ordered an artificial producer? That's what you'll like. A book collection? Football kit for everyone? Normal hair color for Chloe? Hey, I'm gonna hit you. I'm kidding. Don't be mad, honey. Ta-da! Is it just a bubblegum ball? Not only, it makes wishes come true. And how much did you spend on it? 150 bucks. And 90 of them are exactly for making wishes come true? To be precise, 96, but it works my word. Maybe I don't have to make peace with them. I'm gonna show you everything. I wish there were no lessons today. Oh, 
I hear Miss Cooper's footsteps. Your chewing gum doesn't work. Well, that's even worse than Mrs. Cooper. It seems your chewing gum works in the opposite direction. I have an important announcement. Miss Cooper left urgently for our director's meeting. So, today is self-government day on campus. We'll throw a party! <laughs> and go to sleep whenever we want. This means that there is a list of rules that must not be broken. Namely, no parties, keep the campus clean and tidy, go through the topics of the lessons under the guidance of Leo, that is me. This will be hard. <laughs> <laughs> and you say it doesn't work. No wonder I give 150 bucks. It was just a coincidence, Tyler. It doesn't matter. Use it carefully so that all the power doesn't crumble, like... Like Mrs. Cooper's nerves from our knowledge? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. Will there be a party or not? Don't even ask. Listen, let's start the self-government party day! Woo! Yeah! 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 Chloe's like a train, of course. Do you hear that? What is that? Water flowing? I'm not surprised by anything on campus for a long time, of course, but when water can't flow without a reason, we need to take a look. I'm scared alone. Will you come with me? Until Max arrives, you'll help me. Let's go. Come on. I'm certainly skeptical of everything Tyler says, but what if these gums actually work? I want to know how Martin really feels about me. Damn! I forgot the snail farming encyclopedia! Thomas, damn it! What have you done? Did you decide to flood the campus? Okay, I see the Counter Strike game went well. Bro, wake up! You overslept everything! Uh, I sprained a muscle. How can you sprain something you haven't got? Brittany, help! I'm not sleeping, not sleeping, Mrs. Cooper. Guys, what are you doing here? Saving you from hibernation. Did I sleep here? Yeah, you did. And you forgot to turn off the water and poured us a hundred million liters of water. Which we'll have to pay for. Oh gee, I had a nice sleep. Alright, we'll wake up, cause today's our self-government party day. Miss Cooper's gone somewhere. Wow, that's cool. I'll be right back. Oh, what are you doing here, together? We were helping Thomas to wake up. Imagine, he fell asleep in the bathroom. <laughs> fell asleep. Mm, I see. By the way, why are you here? Why don't you help Chloe organize the party? I was going to the library, and then I heard you. Oh, well, all right, see ya. Okay, bye. They say he fell asleep, but there's silence. How could Thomas fall asleep? Only if Martin didn't lie to me. No, no, no. Emma, don't overthink. It's impossible. I'll check it. Emma, I'm oh. changing here. I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. How awkward. Well, at least Martin didn't lie to me. That's good. Oh, Chloe, is everything ready for the party? Almost. I need to get something else. Ah. This is for you. What is it? Uh, guys, I won't give him a letter until you subscribe to our channel. Guys, please subscribe to our channel as soon as possible, because I'm interested to know what it is. Subscribe? Subscribed? Well, open it up and find out. Oh, I gotta go. Dear Tyler, I don't think I'll be able to say it out loud to you, but I can write it. Before you lost your memory, we were together. Everything was just great, even though you are sometimes stupid. I really want to return everything, and therefore I came up with a quest for you with memories of us. I hope you enjoy it and remember everything. The first clue is hidden in your room. Oh dang. But well, what if I won't remember anything? Okay, I need to see what's in my room. So, Part A School. I, as the leader today, declare Self-Government Party Day open! Woo! Woo!
Chloe, I completed your entire quest. So what? Did you like it? Well, I got everything. I remembered something, something I didn't. Did I do a good job? Uh-huh. Good job. Where are you going? Think what to do next, because it wasn't helpful. Wait, I didn't say I didn't feel anything. What? Did you feel? I think so. So what now? Well, I'm starting to like you. Well, at least something. <laughs> Stop! If you passed the quest, then you should have removed the sensor from the fridge. Really? Do you remember what date it is today? It's probably something to do with us. Tyler, you're a genius. Look, I don't care what dates were before that. Today is a new date. What? The day I kissed you on the cheek for the first time. <laughs> this isn't the first time. Holy crap! What a twist! I won't disturb you. If there was a contest of hiding things, you would definitely lose. You have to knock. I'm actually here on business. Max left a present here for me. Yeah, right here. Although Max has left, he knows how to make gifts. Well, what a beauty. And what are you doing? I'm trying to come up with a song for Emma. <laughs> Not like Tyler's, I hope. No, but so far I've only come up with a melody. Listen. Wow, this is so cool. Can you teach me, well, a few chords? Well, okay. Uh-huh. What should I do? I've never done this. Hold the guitar. Put it here. Yeah. Take it with one hand here mm -hmm. and put the other Martin, hand here. I... I must have bothered you. Oh, no, Emma. Martin just... Emma, you misunderstood, Emma! Damn! Do you guys think Emma will forgive Martin or not? What are the comments? But why forgive? There was nothing! Guys, write what you think. Damn, I'll go to her. Emma! I almost <laughs> made it! Are you crying? What happened? <laughs> Martin and Brittany. What Martin? He became stupid or started doing makeup? They're dating. What? I definitely didn't expect this. Wait, why do you think so? They're always together. First thing in the morning in the bathroom. Then now he taught her how to play the guitar. But why do you think they're dating? <laughs> Would you ask Max to teach you to play basketball? Well, no. You see? But Martin agreed. Emma, let's think. What would your snail say in my place, Brittany and Clementine? Stop crying and brace see? yourself. See? Why are you crying? Stop being sad. Today is such a good day. Now we're going to wash you and Martin will understand who he lost. Mayhem. If mine thumbs out about everything, she'll expel everyone. And me too. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? They won't even write a test. Okay, I'll write a test instead of them. No, Tyler wouldn't write for that many points. Damn it, it won't change anything anyway. I'm about to have a nervous breakdown. What should I do? What should I do? Well, that's how I became captain of the team. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Emma, let's talk. By the way, where's your glasses? I put on lenses. And anyway, you better talk to Brittany. She certainly has a better voice. How could you fall for this? 
I'm actually sitting here. What did you come up with? Are you serious? Martin, never mind. Those are girly tricks. Listen, Thomas, you better not get into other people's fights. Chloe, relax and chill. Take it easy. Emma, please, let me explain everything to you. Attention to the students of Part A school. In an hour, Miss Cooper is back at school. Be careful. Clean up the school now. I repeat. What a bummer. We don't have time to clean everything. All right, calm down. Let's split up. Time is short, so the backyard will be cleaned by Thomas and my ex-boyfriend. Classroom, Tyler and Chloe. Rooms, Brittany and me. Hallway, all together. Come on, faster, let's go. Emma, what was that performance? I didn't get it. <laughs> I'm not an actress like you, I don't perform. Yeah, you're a long way from me. But Emma, you probably thought that Martin and I, you better just shut up and clean up. Don't tell me what to do. Don't mess with someone else's boyfriend. Are you completely nuts? Geek, chicken, that's an insult? Blonde, then redhead. Ugh, you're a traitor. I don't want to see you. But, but what did I do? Guys, how do I make up with Emma? Write in the comments because I really don't know what to do. I'll probably make a live stream. Hello everyone, I'm in a terrible mood because I had a fight with a friend. Well, not quite a friend. Listen bro, can you handle it yourself? I really need to talk to Emma. For the sake of love, of course, but- Thanks bro. But not today, if only you could hear me. Wow, I didn't expect you all to finish so fast. Don't be smart, otherwise I'll wash your face with this rag. Don't, Chloe. It's impolite. You could thank me for warning you in advance. Thanks for ruining the holiday. Actually, I want to tell you the truth. Due to the fact that I couldn't pacify you in the beginning... Why can't you leave us alone? I... Good afternoon. Hello. Hello. Guys, I'm really shocked. The campus is so clean. And the classroom is so clean. I don't remember when was the last time everything was so clean. Yes, we've been cleaning all day today. They let me go early because I was thinking of having a class. But I see that there is such purity. I want to please you. So I am canceling all the lessons that were supposed to be today. Uh, Leo, what did you want to say? N nothing. Then you can go rest. Oh. Emma, wait, please. What do you want from me? Let me explain everything, please. I prepared a surprise for you. Wrote a song, came up with a melody, and that's when Brittany walked in. I wanted her to listen and rate like a girl to see if you would like it. And the guitar itself jumped into her hands and asked to be taught how to play, right? Emma, big deal. I showed her some chords. It doesn't really mean anything. Really. I didn't think it could get you so mad. I love you. I even wrote a poem. Will you read? Okay. Well, of course, comparing my eyes to seaweed is not the best, but I'm pleased. So, do you forgive me? I still need to think. Then just listen to the song I wrote. I think you'll like it. Okay.
What do you think? It's wonderful. Well, does that mean peace? Yeah. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Put likes and subscribe to our channel and don't forget about the bell. And also, finally subscribe to our TikTok account and Instagram accounts. And to be the first to see our next episode, write in the comments. Who fell asleep in the bathroom today? Bye everyone! By tradition, the most liked comment today is from my gossip girl. She writes, Guys, I'm watching you. We'll study together soon. Scary comment. And the most liked. Well... <clears throat> welcome to campus. <clears throat> now you're studying with us. And bye, bye, everyone. everyone. In the next episode... Emma spends the morning with Tyler and Leo, but what about Martin? I remembered everything. Chloe is my girlfriend. Emma, show me your phone. What? You don't trust me? I should do it. Nobody can be trusted now. Who uploaded these photos? I'm scared. Looks like our campus got a rat. Then listen. I'm in love with Brittany again. What will Martin choose? Beauty or intelligence?